Time to start sealing the tub. For sealing, I use finishing resin. Also use that for sealing on the outside when I leave a any part of the tub natural. In other words, unpainted, no color, just showing the wood. Because this supposedly is a ultraviolet lights, it's resistant to yellowing. <clears throat> All right, so we'll mix that real good. Just guessing how much. Again, if I have too much, it's going in the garbage. I thin the uh, sealer. Here's a tip for you. You ever try pouring this stuff? It seems to just run all over the place. Take your stuffing tube, hold your finger, drop it in there. Hold your finger on the end. You know this trick, right? So you have to stir this a while until it that milky color goes away. And there it's mixing in. All right, so you can see how thin that is. That should soak into the wood pretty nicely. First area I'm going to work on is going to be under the battery tray. So I've sealed the underside of the battery tray, but I did not put any sealer in these slots. So I, don't, I want wood on wood um, <clears throat> joint. So we just let it flow. So another thing about the epoxy, as far as um, if you're epoxy into epoxy, you want to sand it because the oils come to the surface. You want to sand it at least till it's not shiny for a better adhesion. But if you go, I would say. Right after it sets, but before it cures. So cure is going to be 24 hours. Roughly, pretty much. So if you were to epoxy to epoxy. Um, say an hour later. I think you'd be fine. You wouldn't have to sand it. You wouldn't have any issues for strength for the joint. So I can see this is puddling in the corners. It's nice and thin. So I'm going to work this a little bit, go off camera, get some in these holes here, get these screws. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do this entire part on camera. So I'm not putting any sealer 
on all the glue surfaces up top here, either where I'm going to be gluing the top on. So we're making progress here. I'll uh, continue to probably just go ahead and seal the entire tub. And then I think I'm going to want a second coat under here. That worked out well. As far as how much I mixed up. I got the tub sealed. Battery trays in. Got two coats in this area here. And I also have the inside of the ski sealed. So didn't use any extra epoxy. Didn't waste any to speak of. By the time I got all the way up through here, got the bottom ski sealed, the working time of the epoxy, and or what also happens is the um, alcohol will um, evaporate out of it. It was getting a little bit thick, not bad, but just a little bit. So I decided I'm going to put a second coat in here, and then I put the tray in and soaked it good on these joints here. That's how you seal a wooden bow kit. It's not a hard thing to do. Make sure you use a finishing resin, not epoxy, so it doesn't yellow in the sun. I'm thinning with denatured alcohol. I believe you could thin with acetone without any issues. And this is not critical but I had a two to one ratio of thinner and my um, finishing resin. So I had four tenths of a fluid ounce of each, the hardener and the resin. And then I went half again as much um, denatured alcohol to thin it. So that's a two to one ratio and that's not critical. Just when you mix it and you saw how it ran off the stick. So it flows and penetrates. But for my money, that's a beautiful finish. Natural, they call it. The wood showing. You go with an all-natural um, rigor. I think that's a little vanilla. But I love the look of the uh, wood showing. So mix it in with some color. Yeah, now you got something.